space has truly earned its moniker as the final frontier. Stretching in all directions with rules of gravity and physics that do not apply on Earth, the possibilities for what might lie beyond our comprehension are endless. Some things that occur are so strange that it seems that the only explanation is one that involves aliens and other life forms. But most are none other than marvels of science that have never been seen on our small planet. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three instances of space marvels so unexpected that they even surprised scientists. Solar Tornadoes Captured on the Sun's Surface since the Sun is so incredibly important to life on Earth, it is under constant surveillance by scientists. And because of this, you might think that surprising occurrences would be rare. But the invisible magnetic field that bends the charged gas and plasma around the Sun has revealed some strange phenomenon. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, is run by NASA and is used to capture high-definition images of the Sun from space. The surface of the Sun is always bending and twisting from the magnetic energy generated on its surface, but recently scientists have noticed an odd phenomenon that appears to be a gigantic solar tornado rotating across the surface. The plasma, which usually flares and spits from the surface with no apparent pattern, was rotating and spinning in a manner that greatly resembles how the debris and trash swells in a tornado. This supports the theory that the field around the Sun generates solar weather by creating unevenly heated and charged particles that cause currents and other examples of atmospheric variability. These solar tornadoes are not common. Only a few a year are recorded. But when they do occur, they are impressive to behold. In 2015, a gigantic plume of swirling superheated plasma raged across the surface of the Sun for 40 hours, and every minute of it was recorded and analysed by the Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft technology. The temperature of the ultraviolet plasma peaked at over 2.8 million degrees Celsius. In 2014, one of these mammoth solar tornadoes spun so violently it spun off the surface of the Sun and dissipated into space. One of the largest recorded solar tornadoes was documented in 2011 by the Solar Dynamics Observatory to be about five times the size of the Earth and spinning at a rate of 186,000 miles per hour. The solar flares travelled in a twisting, spiralling pattern up off the surface of the Sun to about 200,000 kilometres into the solar atmosphere. Analysis of solar tornadoes is important because they are driven by the powerful magnetic field of the Sun and usually occur at the same time as massive blasts of solar plasma called coronal mass ejections. It isn't known whether solar tornadoes trigger coronal mass ejections, only that they generally occur in conjunction with each other. But studying the solar tornadoes could likely give us a better understanding of the coronal mass ejections, which are known to disrupt our lives on planet Earth by interfering with GPS signals, radio communications and power grids. The Solar Dynamics Observatory is part of a highly funded NASA initiative called Living with a Star that seeks to gain a greater understanding of our Sun and the effects of solar variability and weather patterns on our planetary life through the study of such phenomena as these solar tornadoes. Messier 82 Supernova Explosion some humans might be surprised to discover that our galaxy is not the biggest or even the brightest galaxy. In fact, Messier 82, also known as Cigar Galaxy, is a starburst galaxy about 12 million light-years away from our own Milky Way that produces stars at a rate 33 times the rate of star formations in the Milky Way. It is about five times brighter with a center over 100 times brighter than our home galaxy. Because it is a high-energy starburst galaxy, it is prone to the collapse of young but still enormous stars which form the astronomical phenomenon known as a supernova. In 2014, the Messier 82 galaxy experienced a Type 1a supernova, which was recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope and was logged as the closest supernova explosion to Earth in at least 40 years. The explosion was the brightest point in the entire galaxy, and at the peak of the explosion, 
could even be seen with the naked eye or amateur telescope. Amazingly, the event was discovered by chance as a professor at University College London was training several undergraduate students to use a small telescope and looked at Messier 82 because it was one of the only regions not covered by London's dense clouds that day. Once the supernova was discovered and named, satellite logs were recovered and the progress of the explosion could be tracked. The explosion took place over the course of two weeks and the entire cycle of the eruption was recorded via telescopic imaging so that researchers could use the images to increase their understanding of the process of a supernova. As there had not yet been a, such a close occurrence of a supernova since the development of higher resolution telescopes and more advanced technology, the supernova in Messier 82 is currently the best documented and studied supernova in history due to its proximity to Earth. The study of this supernova and other similar Type 1a supernovae in general allow astronomers to estimate the relative cosmology of the universe, as well as to understand the mechanisms behind the occurrences of these massive astronomical explosions. Close inspection of the supernova of Messier 82 has given credence to several popular theories regarding the conditions of formation and the structure of progenitor stars prior to explosion. Scientists hope that another such close-range example will arrive to provide empirical support for the theories and observations that Messier 82 began and propagated. The Appearance and Disappearance of the Great Dark Spot on Neptune Dark spots on planets are not uncommon. In fact, Jupiter's Great Red Spot is one of the most well-documented planetary features next to Saturn's rings. Neptune has its own set of features, including a set of dark spots, the largest of which was dubbed the Great Dark Spot, or GDS 89, upon its discovery in 1989 by the Voyager 2 space probe. These dark spots are not characteristics of the planet's crust, but rather the result of large anticyclonic storms forming in the atmosphere. Anticyclonic storms are cases where winds rotate in the opposite direction of the rotation above a low-pressure region. However, in the case of Neptune, these anticyclonic systems are formed in a relatively cloud-free interior and have been documented to disappear and reappear in cycles several years in length, meaning that the surface of Neptune generally only has a great dark spot about half of its life. This is in contrast to Jupiter's famed anticyclonic red spot, which has been in place for hundreds of years. Although anticyclonic storms occur regularly, albeit briefly on Earth, the great spot occurs with much larger proportions. The first time that it was observed, GDS 89 had a slightly elliptical shape that was around the same size as our entire planet, with winds recorded at speeds over 2,100 km per hour the fastest winds ever recorded in the solar system. Although it is not certain what is causing these storms of enormous proportions, scientists believe that it is likely a hole in the methane cloud deck of the planet. Unfortunately, the great dark spot still remains rather mysterious, largely due to an inability to get a close inspection of it. The primary way that GDS 89 is viewed is through the Hubble Space Telescope, and even then, it is incredibly difficult to get a good view of it. After its discovery in 1989, it wasn't until 1991 that the Hubble Space Telescope was in a position to see it again, and this time scientists were shocked to discover that GDS 89 had completely disappeared. Although later in 1994, an orbit by the Hubble photographed the appearance of a similar dark spot that could have been the original GDS 89. Although scientists are not entirely sure why it disappeared, they theorize that it either dissipated entirely due to migrating too close to the equator, or it could have been covered by other atmospheric clouds and was still in existence, just out of view. The surface of Neptune is covered in high clouds made of methane ice crystals dense enough to cover and cast shadows on a lower cloud layer made of ammonia or hydrogen sulfide. There may also be several more layers that could not have been studied below these, meaning that the conditions and weather patterns of the cloudy planet could very well have been hiding the great dark spot just below the cloud cover all along. 
Regardless, the spot was not seen again until 2016, when another spot emerged, but this time in Neptune's northern hemisphere. This spot, dubbed the Northern Great Dark Spot, appeared nearly identical to the initial Great Dark Spot, and has been visible in all attempts to photograph it since then. Although an opportunity for viewing the Northern Great Dark Spot has not presented itself in several years, making it uncertain as to whether it is still there or not. The universe stretches so much further than our own insignificant little Milky Way, and although scientists have no idea exactly what lies hidden beyond the reaches of our telescopes and satellites, the more that comes to light about the strange forces that govern space, the more we can understand the world beyond our atmosphere. All that we can do is seek to understand as much as we can about our surroundings and slowly uncover the mystery that is space. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.